Hello, this is Dr. Tulufafura with World of a Parent short series. How have you been? Well, about two weeks ago, we started to talk about managing your anxiety in COVID-19 times. Gradually, we are, we're actually approaching post-COVID times. How do we transition? How do we manage all these anxieties? As part of my talk the last time, we tried to kind of get an overview of what could be these sources of anxiety. We talked about the pandemic itself. We talked about, you know, income loss or reduced income. We talked about savings, maybe investments. We even talked about lack of trust in leadership. And within that, the two weeks, more things have happened that has either deepened or widened the gap of trust between us people and leadership. And you best believe there are people that they look up to leadership to feel safe, to feel like the environment is actually moving forward. Now today, I want to, I want to bring it closer to home. I want to personalize this a little bit more. Because when we talk about anxiety, it has to do with the person, right? Yeah. So if we want to look at it now, this is not exhaustive by any means, but if we, want, we just want to ch chop it up a little bit and so that we can get a handle of the different areas, I will think about it in terms of self, finances, family, spiritual. And all these four parts can have a myriad of other parts to it. Again, like I said, this is not exhaustive. But if we, dis if we start to unpack these different areas, today let's talk about self, for example. What does that even mean? For a lot of us, with everything that has happened, with our routine, what we've been used to for years and years, being upended and, you know, just a new normal being forced upon us, it has made things a bit tricky, a bit interesting and maybe even a bit scary for a few people now with us um beginning to deal with life family children even ourselves under a new norm under on under uh, a new uh, setup so to speak for a lot of us it has caused us to look at what it has made us to see more closely things that we otherwise would have not seen or maybe things that we were seeing before that just did not register as much but now that you know everything has been rearranged on us suddenly we're seeing these things in a different totally different light so if we're looking at self it could have now brought to us questions of who am i what do I really like that? I mean, because now you're looking at maybe things you didn't even know you like that you like or things that you didn't know you didn't like that you actually dislike. And if I might, if I might hit closer to home with us parents, it could be what most parents don't like to talk about. I get tired of my children. Yep, that could be it. And no, it doesn't make you a horrible parent. It doesn't make you a bad parent for getting exhausted with the activities of the children. It makes you what? Human. It makes you flesh and blood. But then how do we handle this? And it doesn't end there. So for again, talking about self, things like, what do I want? It could be one of the questions that just came up snuck up on you and is bringing it's causing a lot of anxieties what do you want could be in terms of family it could be maybe relationship it could be in terms of your income your job that could be where your what do i really want is coming from and then the last but not the least question is will i get it if i get it if i'm able to handle it if i'm able to do it will i will i will i first let me register this with you. Change your language from will I to I will. To I will. Change that language. So if we go back to the top and we start, we talk about you questioning who you are or 
you know, who you really are. I'm not trying to go all philosophical on you, but the truth is the question might not come directly like that to you, but just that you're beginning to second guess yourself. That might be what that question means to you. Second guess, you're second guessing everything that you thought you believed in or that you thought you knew so well. And it's okay. If that's the case, depending on what it's about, it could be about your job, it could be about your relationship, it could be about your family, it could be about your spouse, it could be about your children. Take a step back, identify what it is. I think that's the first step of getting over that anxiety. If you can identify it, I think the battle is half won. But make sure, make sure you can be truthful enough to yourself to identify what is raising that question? What is making you second guess yourself? Once you're able to do that, you can move to the next level of how to tackle it. So, because I'm not going to break everything down into if you're second guessing why you ever had two children instead of one or why you ever had a child instead of none, um, I, 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 I believe each and every one of us um, you should be able to at least answer the question of what exactly is making me second guess my, uh, myself. This is what I can tell you, because I, I will talk a little more about this just in a, sh in a couple of seconds. But if you think you need someone to help you, especially if it's in the area of parenting and you do need um, you might want to get a parenting coach, and that's what World of a Parent is here for. Um, you will get our information on the screen as you watch the video on. Feel free to contact me, and uh, we'll be able to take care of that. So the next thing that I spoke about um, is what I want. I could, again, the what I want could be split into all these different areas. What do I want in my home? How do I want things to be run? I just realized that this is not working for me. What do I want? My job, what do I want? Maybe you lost your job and rather than feel sad, of course, everybody feels sad about the loss of income. Maybe you're just like, oh, whatever. Good readers to bad rubbish. Or... Maybe you've been furloughed or, you know, laid off has made you realize that you want to change your career path. There's nothing wrong with you. No, it's not necessarily that you're compensating for feeling bad about losing your job. It could be legit. That's what you now feel like. Again, step on the gas, identify what it is that you think you want and go in that, in that direction. And then um, last but not the least, like I said earlier on, don't get analysis paralysis by saying, will I, will I, will I get it? Will I be able to do it? Will they hire me? Will I be able to move forward? Can I even talk to my spouse about this? Will I, will I? Change your language to I will, I can, I am. You really will, you really can, and you're really able to. So having said all this, it is, I, it, it, it's not um, automatic that everybody can handle these things by themselves. You may need help. If you think, even thinking, identifying what we've, we've spoken about is an issue, is even a problem to you, and you think you need professional help, please go ahead and get a therapist. Go ahead, seek the professional help. That doesn't make you weaker than other people. That's just what you need right now. And maybe you don't need the high-end professional help. Maybe you just need hand-holding. Do you have a friend that you can be accountable with that is not going to look down on you or tell you how weak you are? Get the friend. Otherwise, you might want to get a coach. Again, that's why we're here. So this is talking in general about self. If you want to hear more about this or you want to talk more about this, reach out to me on worldofaparent.com or you can inbox me on Facebook and we'll take care of this together. Um, upcoming, we will talk about family, we'll talk about finances and we'll talk about the spiritual reasons for anxiety. 
Until then, and until we speak again, you take good care of yourself. And I want to shout out to all our frontline workers. Thank you for all that you have done and for everyone that may have lost someone either due to the pandemic or due to the pandemic of racism. Our hearts go out to you and we hope we all heal together. Till we speak again, take care.